Hi, the time now is uh, Saturday 17th of June mm -hmm. and it's nearing 6 p.m. Singapore time. And uh, I have been so busy, uh, I missed the timeline, I think. I'm supposed to read my rewards before 3 p.m. Singapore time. Uh, but I got too busy with many things. I haven't yet reaped my rewards. I'm not sure how this is going to impact on my overall rewards tomorrow. But it uh, doesn't matter. I may be late, okay? But it does not matter right now. Let me just catch up on lost times. So for this wallet, I have yet to mine my rewards today. So in order to mine the rewards, let me show you the demonstration. Seems like many of my members and associates and also the YouTube community, many people are still a bit lost on how you are to extract your mine benefits every day. Okay, so allow me to walk you through again. I have other videos that have already covered this, but let me break down the steps once again, okay? First and foremost, once you have launched into your wallet, you will end up here at your home page. At your home page, you first have to go into your profits, okay? Okay, your profits here, all right? And the other thing is that if you want to check whether your wallet, your this wallet even has cash voucher notes, this is how you check here, okay? First, you click here to verify that you indeed have uh, active, you know, subscription records. When you are here, you check your subscription notes, okay? Click on it. And there you will see okay what you have contributed all right and then you can get back out okay so step one what I have done is to show you number one how to check whether your account has cash vouchers or not so this is an active account it has cash vouchers okay and how you check was going into fin chain note now Second thing I have people asking me also, how do you check whether you have super notes? So this is the area to check for your super notes. This is the area. Okay, so click on this super notes button and then you will go in to check here your subscription records and when you click on it, there, it will show you what are your dates and time and you know what you have subscribed to uh, which notes what are the names of the notes you know and how much you have contributed is it in cash voucher or in usdt you know so all these right are the records okay and for this specific note i mean for this specific account i have both super notes as well as fin chain notes once again how you check is here this is the portion to check your fin chain notes and this is the portion to check for your super notes all right and so now in this wallet when i click on profits whatever is being mined is a combination of number one plus number two benefits okay it will be combined together and it will show in my profits under mind rewards Okay, so with that clear, let's go into profits. Now, at profits, just now I mentioned, right, in my mining, this part here, it will combine both my fin chain notes as well as my super notes. Okay, so it's combined already. All right, now, then let me use another color now. I use blue. To show you that I also have another benefit in this account, which is the team reward benefit. So this one is only because I contributed to the liquidity pool, okay, or LP for short, all right? So therefore now, in total, I have this benefit plus this benefit, which I have to mine separately, okay? And this benefit is separate. It's the benefit from my super notes and my fin chain notes subscription. You get it now? Okay, so without further ado, 
uh, let me take a look at my current situation. You see, by checking here, I know that this account, I have added liquidity pool. And now I can also see that some of the members in my team have also contributed to the liquidity pool. Okay, and so now let me first mine my my mining part okay so this part i click on my mining withdrawal so today what i can be entitled to mine is this amount here and for this there is no handling fee so therefore i shall extract it right now all right so i have extracted it and how do you check you can go and see your mining record here click on it can you see i have just extracted at this date this time so it says it is extracting when it is successfully extracted it will demonstrate extraction succeeded okay so while waiting for it to reflect in my wallet i am going back okay and show you my team reward benefit which is this part here this amount is very small and for this amount, if I want to extract it, if I click here, you see there is a handling fee of 5%. And so since the amount is so small, I shall leave it and accumulate it until I have a bigger amount before I extract. Because it is subject to some handling fee and it is not worth it to extract at this moment. I guess I will only extract it when it reaches something like 0 0.1, maybe. I'm not sure. Okay, I will decide when the time comes. Okay, but the purpose of this exercise is to tell you that for team rewards mining benefits, it is separated. All right. Okay, so let me go back. So um, now let me check my wallet. I think it has already been added here. Okay. Take a look. Take a look at receive. Um, yeah. So you see, it has already been received and it's in green. If it is still in process, it will still be in orange color. Okay. So it is green. That means it's already added. So there. This is currently the situation I have in this specific wallet. Okay. And so... I have done that already. Now, I'd like to show you one last step on how to swap. Okay, how to swap. Okay, FTC Fin to FTC B E uh, B E P twenty. Is it B E C or B E P twenty? I I think mm -hmm. it's, I can't remember now. Uh, let me check how to swap FTC fin to BEP20 yeah it's BEP20 okay which is how to swap FTC fin to BEP20 okay some people may need to do the swap for example if they want to contribute to the liquidity pool which is entirely your choice it's up to you it's not mandatory by the company okay so in order to contribute to the liquidity pool you cannot directly use you cannot uh, you cannot directly use um, FTC fin okay it has to be converted to FTC BEP20 why because on pancake swap they they operate using the BSC chain, all right. At the moment, it is not linked to our Fintosh chain, so you get therefore it is not compatible. You got to change this FTC Fin to FTC BEP twenty. So how do you perform that swap? Well, you perform that swap by clicking on this swap button, which I'm going to show you right now. Click on swap, and it is already by default created for you FTC fin swap to FTC BEP20 so this is the swap and then right now the company already tracks for you the system tracks for you what you have here so assuming I have 0 0.29 but I only want to swap 0 0.101 
why I add a 101 is so that there is a little bit of buffer in case you need to transfer from wallet to wallet, right? You have a little bit of buffer for the gas fee, okay? So that when you do, if you should choose to contribute to the liquidity pool, please take note, you have to contribute it using the DAPPV2 version. All right, and how you do that is that you have to link your Fintosh wallet to an external hot or cold wallet. I don't know which is the correct version, okay? Uh, um, you know, and the hot or cold wallet, it can be in the form of Trust Wallet, MetaMask, Token Pocket, BitKeep, etc. All right, so you have to link through the DAPP. It's a little bit complicated process, but it is still doable for someone who is so technically and digitally and mathematically challenged like me. If I can finally get the hang of it, and now that I've produced a step-by-step -step guide video to guide you along too, if I can do it, you can do it too. All right, you can do it, but the choice is yours whether you want to do it or not. All right, because it is not mandatory. It is only if you see the benefit, okay? And the benefits, you can refer to my video, which is already mentioned quite a few times in several of my videos launched yesterday and today. So I will not repeat it. So please go watch those if you should choose to participate in the liquidity pool. Okay, now coming back, I want to perform the swap to show you how you can do the swap within your Fintosh wallet, okay? So once again, by default, the swap button, they already set it for you from FTC Fin to FTC BEP20. Okay? Uh, so I'm going to key in manually 0 0.101. Oops, to to swap to FTC BEP20. So it's a one-to-one -one swap at the moment. The company does not um, does not uh, require any admin or handling fee. You see? So it's 0%, right? No, even though it's a cross-chain, but there is no fees involved. It's all zero. And here you click local wallet uh, just to be sure that you know, you have um, that it is this wallet, okay? Just for security, just click local wallet and here you click on swap. So since it is free, I'm going to demonstrate it for you. I can swap it around many times, <laughs> okay? Pause for the path and it has been swapped, okay? How do you check? You go back to your wallet, you take a look. So your FTC fin is now being reduced by 0 0.1. Reduced by 0 0.1. Now we check the FTC BEP20. Okay. See? FTC BEP20 not yet added. It is still 0 0.001. Okay, let me see why. Okay. Oh. It seems that there is a little bit... <laughs> There is a little bit of a, eh, there is a, a gas fee deduction after all. It is not free. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> okay, because um, I thought I did a, uh, wait, wait, wait. Is it correct? Let me see. Uh. Let me see. I should be looking at receive. Oh, <laughs> yes, it is free. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, my, my bad. Okay, so it is free. There's no handling fee. The receive is plus 0 0.101. It's just that there was a bit of a lag time. So let me check back my wallet. Okay. Oh, yes, bravo. So I have now 0 0.102 under FTC BEP20 because I have already successfully done the swap and true enough, there is no handling or admin fee whatsoever. <laughs> okay, so there, I have done a few things in this short video. Hope it has been helpful. What have I done? Uh, what have I done? Mm, I have... I can't remember what I've done. Okay, I'm going to revise... 
um, you know what I've done, okay? <laughs> you know what I have done. I'm, I'm going to revise what I have done. Then I'm going to uh, title this video accordingly, all right? So I hope this video has been helpful for you. And if so, do give me a thumbs up <laughs> and subscribe. Yeah, and once again, the liquidity pool, I have several other videos. The pros, the cons, um, I have mentioned briefly, but I'm also going to do a more detailed video to share with you my learning on what liquidity pool is, the benefits, the risks, the ups and the downs, okay? So the choice is really yours. The company leaves it to every individual to decide whether you want to participate or not. All right, so God bless everybody. Take care.